Ivy, open your eyes. You are in my realm. Seven monsters come for you. Only the items and the weapons you find here will help you. Defeat the seven, and I will lift the curse. Ivy, open your eyes and fight. Okay, so the way this works, we uh, start with an item. A soul crystal. Take no additional damage if you attack over a monster's power. Ignore any traits. That'll make more sense in a minute. We draw a monster. It's a werewolf. His power level is 10. And uh, now we draw weapons. We draw throwing daggers, which we can choose to either do one or six damage. We'll choose six. We're trying to reach the monster's power, but not exceed it. It's like blackjack. Our second weapon, another dagger. Six would put us over and cost us, it would cause damage to us. We would discard this dagger. This deck is effectively our health. We need to defeat seven monsters before we run out of cards. So we have seven. That's not bad. We could push our luck and draw another card. Um, I think we'll take it. So we do seven damage. We take three damage, the remainder of his power, and we collect that monster. That's one. We need six more. Now he had a chest, so we open another uh, item. We get a large backpack. Take no additional damage if you attack over a monster's power. We could have used that. Large backpack. Take a weapon card from the discard pile and keep it with your items for use uh, when needed. Why don't we go ahead and do that? Well, we know what's in here right now. Well, no, we don't. We, uh, we drew some more cards. Let's do that. Take a weapon card from the discard pile. So... We get to pick one. I think we'll take, uh, well, five is really good. Three. Let's take the spear. So we'll keep that with our items. And second monster. Some kind of ogre. Tough skin. First range attack deals no damage. So a sword is a melee attack. We dealt four damage. Uh, two short bow that deals no damage because that's our first ranged attack. Four for the staff that's two. We'll take that. So we take two damage, and we have two monsters. We need five more. <laughs> Third monster, a lizard man. Evasive first even value weapon attack deals no damage. First weapon, axe, two, deals no damage. Short bow, two. Dagger, let's go with six for that, that's eight. So we take one damage and we collect that monster. We need four more monsters. Our deck is already getting low. An undead ghost of some sort, um, ethereal. First odd value weapon attack deals no damage. First odd value. Fireball spell, five. Oh, that hurts. Okay. Um, weapon, six. Let's use the dagger for six. I think we gotta take them. Um, we're getting low. I think we gotta take it. So we take two damage. We collect that guy. We need three monsters, and we only have six cards left. Oh. Explodes. You're only able to land a single attack. Four. So he explodes. We take one damage. We collect him. That's five monsters. Sixth monster is this guy. Oh. We're not going to make it. 
we'll have to use our spear and that gives us eight but um, even if we play this last card it goes over we could use our soul crystal so we do collect that monster but that's only six and Ivy's defeated Happy May 11th, everyone. I'm Liam, and we are playing the 2024 quest calendar, The Leaf Riders of Renwood. Yesterday, Ivy and the party survived a tornado here in the Dread Sands Desert, despite being cursed again by the corrupted spirit of the Tree of Seasons. We're trying to find the first of four ancient guardians in an effort to restore the tree and save the world. So... Let's see what adventure is on the calendar for us today. As the winds subside, the shifting sands unveil a breathtaking sight, a grand floating island suspended in the heart of the desert, encircled by smaller isles and connected by a rope bridge leading to its peak. We have four things we're gonna do here in order. Oh. And there is a, uh, a hidden icon on this page, so we get to discover something. What will it be? Um, we're going to roll a 10-sided die, and uh, where's my 10-sided die? Where is my 10-sided die? Found it. Four. We've got... Warding ointment. I believe that adds to our defense. Here. Yeah. Warding ointment. Um, consumed on use. Add plus two defense to a single roll. So we'll add that to our list. Warding ointment. Warding ointment. Defense. Okay, four things in order, and we're cursed, so we roll twice and take the worst result. <laughs> uh, what do you know of this floating island? That's going to be an intellect. Climb the rope ladders. That's a strength check. Secure yourself with a rope. Um, it's an intellect. I feel like we should do that first. Uh, cross the rope bridges. Uh, dexterity check. Okay. Um... Wouldn't be too worried if we weren't cursed. Uh, uh, Ivy's pretty good at these things. So let's see. What do you know of the floating island? D20 plus intellect. Reminder student. So here's our two D20s. Oh, 15 is our worst result. That's not bad at all. Um, the sight of a floating island is rare and mystical, I'll say. Your scholarly pursuits may provide some insights into this phenomenon's nature, history, or significance. 15 gets us the best result. Your studies have included information about floating islands, their origins, and their significance. This area resonates with what Eldris told you about Nagaya, the guardian. While a path to the top may exist, it could not have been maintained well over the ages. Gain a plus two bonus all rolls on this page all right excellent I have to remember that somehow <laughs> to climb the rope ladders that's a d20 plus strength reminder athlete oh, and our worst result is a one so we fail <laughs> struggling to maintain your grip you slip and fall part way down the ropes taking uh, minor damage uh, roll d20 plus dexterity reminder danger sense uh, six is our worst result. Plus two dexterity is eight. Plus two danger sense is ten. If the result is ten or less, oh shoot, can we get one more point out of this? Somehow. We have rations and campfires. We can increase our strength. What was this? This was a, this was a dexterity check. We've got honey, wisdom, constitution, health potion, defense, we can try um, Sky or Disc... No, we can try Disco. Let's try Disco. Can Disco help us not fall? 
disco. In order to add one dexterity, we've got to draw a five or better of clubs from our sh shuffle deck. Nope. And that's a face card, so disco, uh, disco takes a point of damage. And we take two points, I think. All right. Um, the fall hurts as you collide with the ground. Reduce your health by two. Okay, our health goes down by two to 13. And go to Disco and Mark. Well, his health is two, so he's okay for now. All right. Okay, just checking what our bees do because I never wrote them down up here. All right, secure yourself with a rope. This is step three, D20 plus intellect. Our intellect is plus zero, and we get a four. <laughs> uh, this rolling with disadvantage is brutal. The wooden paths and bridges don't look as secure as they could be. It is best to take some precautionary steps. Um, four plus our two from earlier is six. And, uh, oh, survivalist. We're not a survivalist, but um, one, of our, one of our party is. And I think that would add two. So four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, that's not going to get us. That's still the worst result. Your rope uh, fails to remain in a secure hold. That's all that happens. Um, if we'd done better, we'd get a bonus here. All right, last uh, last step. Cross the rope bridges. D20 plus dexterity. Reminder, athlete. We are an athlete. Here we go, Ivy. Oh, 10. 10 is our lowest number. 10 plus our, uh, what was this? Dexterity is two. And athlete's another two. That's a 14. Um, that gets us almost the best result can we get this up by one point what was that that was a dexterity roll we already tried disco he can't help uh, i think that's i think we're out of luck defense yeah, with this amount with this as a party it's hard to keep track of what everybody can do i i think that's it the wind howls around you and the bridge creaks and sways under your weight you make your way across the bridge, but it's a challenging and slow process. Uh, and that is that. All right. Well, uh, I'm skipping the Sunday lottery again because we're out here on the middle of a rope bridge. <laughs> so that's not the calendar's rules. The calendar would be happy to let us play. Um, that's just my idiosyncrasy. So that, my friends is may 11th and 12th so we shall say goodbye for now and visit ivy and friends again on monday i hope you'll join us thanks for watching